Shalom, shalom, most high Christ bless. Another 15 minutes with Captain Aye. I got with me. Officer Raphael. And we going over, does God hate? Because for some reason, in America, our people, in, in their minds, our people got the persona that God don't hate. <clears throat> that God is all about love, love, love. Love, love, love. God don't hate. God don't hate. God does hate. God does hate. And watch this. Go to Sirach 43, verse 29. Let's show y'all something about our God, first of all. Watch this. Sirach 43, verse 29. Come on. The Lord is terrible. He is what? He is terrible. First off, you got to understand that our Lord, our Lord is terrible. Come on. And very great. Uh-huh. And marvelous is, is his power. It says, and marvelous is his power. So the God that we serve, our God is not all about love. Our God is just not all about love. You got to understand, our God flooded the earth and destroyed everybody except eight persons. So you need to understand that our God does hate. Now, so let's see what our God do hate, though. Let's see what he hate. Go to Proverbs 8, verse 13, right, fast. Let's see what does our God hate. Does God hate? Yes, God hates. Watch this. Give me Proverbs 8, verse 13 first. Come on, read what you got. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13. Come on. The fear of the Lord uh -huh. is to hate evil. Oh, the fear of the Lord is to do what? To hate evil. Do you hear that? It says the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. The most high hate evil, and if you fear the Lord, you going to hate evil. Watch this. Give me that in Psalms 97, verse 10. Give me the book of Psalms, chapter 97, verse 10. Psalms 97, verse 10, I think it is. Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 97, verse 10. Uh-huh. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. So if ye love the Lord, you're going to hate evil. Why? Because the Most High hates evil. Read. He preserved the soul of his saints. Uh-huh. He delivered them out of the la the hands of the wicked. So our people got to understand that the most high hates. It says the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Why? The most high hates evil. Our people don't understand that. Watch this. Go from there to Sirach. Matter of fact, give me Proverbs first, chapter 6. And I think it's 16. Start at 16. And the evil that the most high hate is the sin that you in. That's the evil that the Most High hate. He hates the sin that you are in. But guess what the church will tell you? God loves the sinner, but hates the sin. Yeah, we'll see about that. Read what you got. The book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 16. Uh-huh. These six things do the Lord hate. It says these six things do the Lord, the Lord what? Hate. He loves. Hate. You see that? It says these six things do the Lord hate. Let's see them, Mark. Read. Yeah. Seven are an abomination. He says, in the him. seventh is an abomination. Read. A proud look. Uh, a what? A proud look. Uh, the Most High hates a proud look. A prideful brother or sister. Read. A lying tongue. A lying tongue. Brothers and sisters that has that has lying tongues. Read. And hand that shed innocent blood. You see that? That's one thing the Most High hates. A hand that sheds innocent blood. The Most High hates that thing. Read. And heart. That divides wicked imagination. It says in a mind that divides wicked imaginations. The most high hate. Read what you got. Feet that be swift and ready to mischief. You see that? It says in a it says feet that be swift to run to mischief. That's the things the most high hate. The most high hates that. Read. A false witness. A false witness that what? That speaketh lies. It says a false witness that speak lies. Believe it or not, this right here is the black man and woman. Believe it or not, this is the black man and woman, the Hispanic man and woman, and the Native American man and woman. Believe it or not. And the, and the most high hates it. Read. And he that soweth discord. So it says the seven is an abomination. So what's the seven? He that what? He that soweth discourse among brethren. It says he that soweth discord amongst his brethren. The most high hate that. You sowing discord between brethren, between two friends. The most high hates that. 
So watch this. Go from there to Sir Rock 12, verse 6. Because remember, it says in Proverbs 6 and 16, when you get to verse 17, it says a proud look. They're prideful brother and sister. So watch this. Let's go to uh, Sir Rock chapter 12. Chapter 12. Start at verse 6 for me. Start at verse 6 for me. Let's see. The book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 6. Yeah, 12, verse 6, my bad. For the most high hated sinners. The most high hate what? For the most high hated sinners. But yet, a commercial will come on TV, the Christian church will tell you that God loves the sinner, but hates the sin. Let's see what the most high hate. Read. And will be paid vengeance unto the ungodly. So read it from the top again. Watch this. Sirach 12, verse 6. Uh-huh. For the most high hated sinners. He hated what? Sinners. Do you hear that? It says the most high hate sinners. So the little quote that you have been taught in church and that you learned on uh, that, uh your local neighborhood commercial uh, television show that uh, God loves to sin but hates the sinner, you know it's a bald face lie. Watch this read. And keeping them against the mighty day of their punishment. It says, and keep it them uh, against the mighty day of their punishment. So watch this. Jump over to chapter 10 and start at verse 12. Matter of fact, jump down to 7. Jump to 7 and then jump down to verse 12. So right <clears throat> 10 verse 7. Uh-huh. Pride is hateful before God and man. You see that? It says pride is hateful before God and man. But in Proverbs 6 and 17, it says one thing the most I hate is a proud look. A prideful brother and sister. So it says pride is hateful before God and man. Read on. And by both do one commit iniquity. It says and by both do one commit iniquity. So let's jump down to verse 12. Verse 12. The beginning of pride. The beginning of pride. That pride for brothers and sisters. It says the beginning of pride. Come on. It's when one departed from God. It's when one depart from God. It's when one depart from God. Read. And his heart is turned away from his maker. His heart is turned away from his maker. Read. For pride is the beginning of sin. You see what pride is? It says pride is the beginning of sin. So pride is the beginning of sin. So once you depart from the laws of God, you're going to be in sin and you're going to become a sinner. And the Most High hates sinners. The Most High hates sinners. And, now, and, and, and our people don't understand that the church ain't going to tell you the truth. They're going to tell you exactly what the, the pastor going to tell you exactly what you want to hear. And it's a feel good message. So when telling him, instead of him telling you, look, the Most High hates sinners and he hates the sin, mm -hmm. the Most High hates all workers of iniquity, guess what? The church ain't going to tell you that. Why? Because he's going to want your money. Right. He's going to want that money. So he ain't going to tell you what the Most High uh, hates. He's going to continue to say what God loves. Right. We're going to show you what God loves and what God hates also. Mm -hmm. So look, watch this. Jump over. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon now. J drop there. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon chapter 14. Start at verse 9. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 14 verse 9. Watch this. For the ungodly. Hold for the who? For the ungodly. The sinner. Read. And his ungodly. And his sin, his ungodliness. Come on. Are both alike. It are both alike. What up? Hateful unto God. No, God love the sin. The God love the sinner, but he hates the sin. Both alike hateful unto God. Read it from the top again. Watch this. For the ungodly and his ungodly. For the ungodly and his ungodliness. The ungodly is the sinner and his ungodliness is the sin that he's in. The inequities that he's committing. Read. Are both alike. It says they both are alike. Read. Hateful. Who? Uh, hateful. You see they're hateful to who? Uh, to God. Unto God. God does hate. God does hate. Yes, he hates. Watch this. Give it in his son, chapter 5. Start in verses 4. Start in verse 4. We're going to want verse 4 and 5. The book of Psalms, chapter 4, verse 5. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. For thou art not a God that has pleasure in wickedness. Do you see that? See, our God is a God that don't have pleasure in wickedness. That's one thing we need to understand. And that's one thing our people don't learn once they go into these churches. They don't understand. Read that from the top again. Understand this about our God. 
Read that. Why? The book of Psalms, chapter 5, verse 4. Uh huh. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness. You see there, it says, Our God don't have pleasure in wickedness. Read. Neither shall evil dwell with thee. Neither shall what? Evil dwell with thee. What's the evil that should not dwell with you? Sin. Sin. That's the evil that shall not dwell with you. Sin. Remember, the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike. Hateful unto God. Watch this. Read that. Verse 5. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. It says the foolish shall not stand in thy sight. But watch this. Thus hatest all workers of iniquity. You see what he hate? He says thou hatest all workers. It says thou hatest all workers of iniquity. So God does hate. He, I, it, see, our people get the persona once they go to church. God is all about love, love, love. We just read in Surah 43 that he's a terrible God. A terrible God that flooded the earth. Why? Because he hated the sin and the inequities that the people on earth co was committing. He hated that. So he said, you know what? I'm going to flood the earth 40 days and 40 nights. Mm. Nor you warn the people. And after that, guess what? Only eight persons live. So, yes, our God it ain't just about our uh, love, love, love. Our God is about judgment also. So, watch this. Go from there to Proverbs 11, verse 5. I mean, Psalms 11, verse 5. The book of Psalms, chapter 11, start at verse 5. The book of Psalms, chapter 11, verse 5. Start at verse 4. Verse 4. The Lord is in his holy temple. Uh-huh. The Lord's throne is in heaven. You see where the Lord's throne is? It's in heaven. You don't know where the Lord's throne is in heaven? Read. His eyes behold. Uh-huh. His eyelids try the children of men. You see that he says his eyelids try the children of men. Come on. The Lord tries the righteous. You see who he tries? The Lord tries the righteous. Read. But the wicked and him that loveth violence. He says, oh, but hey. the wicked and him that loveth violence. That loveth violence. What people on the planet earth love violence? Love seeking violence and love being violent. And you think God love that? That's why judgment, judgment hits our community the way it does. Because of God hates it. Read. Verse, verse 6. Read verse 5 again. Verse 5. The Lord tries the righteous, uh -huh. but the wicked and him that loveth violence, mm -hmm. his soul hated. He said his soul hated. The most high hate that. Our people don't understand God ain't, a just, ain't, a, ain't about love, love, love. That's what they think about Christ. He's love, love, love. Christ ain't about love. Uh, Christ ain't come. Christ, give me that in Matthews right fast before we move on. Then we're going to go to Romans 9 and 13 to show him. Yes, the most high hates. The most high hates, and the most high hates a certain group of people on this planet Earth. And you probably online thinking, once you hear this, you probably thinking to yourself, that ain't right. God hate a certain group of people. That ain't right. Not my God. You right, not your God. But our God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he hates a certain group of people, and we're going to show you, thus said the Lord God. Read what you got, officer. Matthew 10, verse 34. Come on. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. So that's one thing our people got to understand. Christ ain't coming back to send peace on earth. Christ ain't coming back with uh, love, 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 kisses, hugs, none of that. Read. I came not to send peace. But a sword. You see there, he says, I come not to send peace, but a sword. Why? Because of the evil that's going on throughout the earth. So he said, you know what? I'm going to have a family member going against family member. So watch this. Let's go to Romans chapter 9. Let's go to Romans 9. Read Romans 9 verse 13. Because a lot of people probably heard the statement that I made and said, he got to be crazy. The most high hate a certain group of people. Watch this. Read what you got. Romans 9, verse 13. 
I, it is written. It says, as is as it is written. Come on. Jacob have I loved. Uh-huh. But Esau have I hated. Do you see that? I, I have people don't think that. Watch this. Let them know what book you in and what chapter. Six, uh, Romans chapter 9 verse 13. Uh-huh. As it is written. Uh-huh. Jacob have I loved. You see, it says, as it is written. Jacob have I loved. Come on. But Esau uh -huh. have I hated. You hear, hey, hey, ho, ho, ho. Jacob have I loved and Esau have I loved. Have I hated. You see that God hates a certain group of people. God hates a certain group of people. So when you when people ask, does God hate? Yes, God hates. Yes, God hates. God hates the evil that you in. God hates all workers of inequity. The ungod, the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto God. And guess what else? God hates a certain group of people, which are the Edomites. Watch this. Give me that in Malachi 9. And yeah, we know a lot of Christians, when they see this video, that a lot of them going to be, a lot of them going to be looking like, what? God hates? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Believe it or not. Read what you got. The book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4. Come on. Whereas, he's, uh, no, verse 3. And I hate it. Start, start at verse 2. Start at verse, verse two. 2. Verse 2. I have loved you, said the Lord. So, it says, I have loved you, said the Lord. Read. Yet, ye say, wherein hath thou loved us? Uh-huh. Was not Esau Jacob's brother? So, you saying that, he says, was not Esau Jacob's brother? Yes, Esau was Jacob's brother, because what? Genesis 25. So we know Esau and Jacob was brothers, but guess what? Even when you read the story of Esau and Jacob, the Most High still chose one child over the other. Before they was even born, he chose one, one nation of people over the other nation of people. So don't get mad at us because we the messengers. Get mad at God. You won't get mad at somebody, get mad at God. Watch this, read what you got. Said the Lord, yet I love Jacob. Uh-huh. And I hated Esau. He what? And I hated Esau. You see what? He said, I hated Esau and did what? And I hated Esau. Mm -hmm. And lay, and lay his more, more mountain uh -huh. inheritance waste for the dragon of the wilderness. You see that? And people got to understand, the most high does hate. Our God is a terrible God, a great God, and, and marvelous in his acts. But one thing about our God, he hates all workers of inequity. The Most High hates uh, a, a, proud, a, a proud for brother and sister. The Most High hates a lot of different things. That's what our people got to understand. But if your head ain't in this Bible, you won't understand and you will have the persona in the mindset of God is just all about love, love, love. When he's actually not a just uh, not a all about love, love, love. God is about judgment. You know what I'm saying? That's, what we, that's one thing we have to understand. God is all about judgment. So our, our people have to understand, look, God does hate. That's one thing our people got to understand. So look, there's 15 minutes with the captain, 15 minutes with the captains going IUIC. Uh, captains, subscribe to the page, like, share all the videos, of, hey, hey, watch all the videos, share all the videos, because each one of these videos can help our people out in a major way. Just 15 minutes, believe it or not, just 15 minutes could, hey, could change your life. So with that, we're going to say shalom. Shalom.
make it so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.